have here is an ASUS laptop and it's got a screen flicker I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now what you want to do is plug it into a HDMI cable just to make sure and plug it into the back of your TV just to make sure that it's not your GPU. If you still have your screen problems after you've plugged it into HDMI into the TV you most likely got a GPU issue. Uh, once you open up the laptop this is a culprit for my screen for the currency LCD cable and what happens is on the hinges it moves back and forth and eventually it wears out and wrecks. Once you open up the laptop you'll be able to jiggle the cable maybe even jiggle it into place where it's fixed again um, shortly later it will end up wrecking again so new cable uh, so you can jiggle the cable, hold it in place and if it fixes the issue you replace the cable uh, do not throw your old cable away while waiting for the new cable because one, you can follow up the serial number here to chase up the new cable um, I was lucky enough not to throw this cable away because there is the microphone soldered onto this cable which it did not come on so that's a bit tricky soldering the new microphone on in this version of ASUS yours might not have that issue so let's go ahead by opening up this laptop pull the battery out Unlock. now it's always a good a good thing to keep all the screws in the right place so if you just lay them all flat on the table You'll be able to line them up and where you got them out. Slide the DVD player out after you've undone this screw. Now what you want to do is grab a flathead screwdriver or a credit card. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver. Probably uh, using, better using a credit card or something less damaging. You're going to slip it between the silver and the black and just click it open. And just slowly go down and you'll hear the, the cover crack open. Now make sure all the screws are off or you're going to damage some of the clips. Nice and slowly, we're in no hurry. If you got hard drive out, seems like we got a ribbon attached, so we're going to remove just this plug here. Flat head screwdriver would have worked a lot better there. Casing's off. Now this is where you would normally have your LCD cable here, and we'll run along down through here. And right here is where the hinge works and it eventually wears out the cable. And as you can see, pull my apart and it is quite frayed. Not as bad as this, I pulled it apart, but it had a lot of wear here. So we need to remove the Wi-Fi cables and they just pull out. Now there is a screw holding this motherboard down into place. Uh, where is it? Here we go. There is one, I think. Okay. There might be another one. But you can slide these Wi-Fi cables out, you don't actually need to completely remove the motherboard. I just take the screws out on this side. There's plenty of screws on this side which you can skip. Now you'll need to remove these. That hold the screen in place. If you ever get confused in where the screws go, you can always fall back onto this video. Finding parts in the link below, um, just click on the link, show you where to get parts from. There we go. 
you can do a little bit more delicately than that, but if you keep turning it up, the board will separate. Okay. So, here's the big culprit. That is here. So there's two little plastic covers over these screws. You want to remove them and then the, the screen will slide up. There we go. And will come apart once you've slid it apart. Okay, this is where the ribbon travels from here right around where you remove it and replace the new one. This is where I'm about to put the new ribbon in. Okay, so when you get to the part with the LCD screen cable where you gotta attach the wires to the little microphone, pain in the ass. Uh, well, in this case, the new setup came with different coloring on the wiring. So I had to go ahead and work out each colour. I don't know the colour codes on this too well, but um, I went through all the pins and worked it out which colours are the new uh, points. Uh, what have we got? V, G, D, C on the little board in little, little tiny writing. And so I went through all the pins, tested it with a voltimeter and uh, testing the connections from one end to another. And working out each individual pin on one of these, which is time consuming. It took me about 15 minutes, but managed to work it out all down here. So soldering one of these on, you'll probably need some flux and some good solder and some patience to get that on quite well. So I've inserted the webcam camera uh, plug and I've put the mic back in but I've had to wrap the wires around a little bit because when it came it came with a little bit of extra wire um, so I've actually left the wire in there I'm not going to re-solder it and put a bit of tape to hold over it a little electrical tape now the second plug Okay, if you've got small fingers or a pair of pliers, that'll be a lot more easier than what I just went through. The actual motherboard and the keypad, the bulk of the computer. Make sure you have this the right way around. So you're going to put it on like this onto the string, not the other way, or else you're going to be running around circles for quite a while. There we go. What you want to do is put a couple of screws in to hold it in place, and you can fold it shut. Keep working on it. For the screen, you only want to put in these screws here. That one, that one, that one, that one. They've got little arrows pointing to it. If you screw in the other screws, that's part of the casing that holds it, binds it all together. Now, so you probably want to squeeze in these. Wi-Fi cables in. Now with the main cable, you want to give it a little bit more slack in there, so push a bit in there, to prevent it from tightening it up. And also, oh, I forgot about that. You'll need to remove these to slide the cable underneath, so. What we want to do is lift that up. There 
can just lift up the screen and drop it and then this board underneath will lift and you want to squeeze the cable underneath there but like I said make sure you give the main cable plenty of slack in there so push it in there and you can slip it around raise this all Down. And you know. So here I have fixed an ASUS laptop screen from the screen flickering when adjusting the screen.